It says, so when David was old and full of days, he made Solomon his son king over Israel. Okay. Just backing up what we just read in 1 Kings. All right. This is uh, 1 Chronicles 29-22. It says, and they did eat and drink before the Lord on that day with great gladness. And they made Solomon, the son of David, king, king the second time and anointed him unto the Lord to be the chief governor as a doc to be priest. Then Solomon sat on the throne of the Lord as king instead of David, his father, and prospered. And all Israel obeyed him and all the princes and the mighty men and all the sons likewise of King David submitted themselves unto Solomon the king and the Lord magnified Solomon exceedingly in the sight of all Israel and bestowed upon him such royal majesty as had not been on any king before him in Israel. Okay. That's a lot. Um, go to first Kings chapter four. Verse 20, it says, And Judah and Israel were many, as the sand which is by the sea, and multitude eating and drinking and making merry. And Solomon reigned over all kingdoms from the river unto the land of the Philistines unto the border of Egypt. They brought presents and served Solomon all the days of his life. And Solomon's provision for one day was 30 measures of fine flour and three score measures of meal, ten fat oxen, and twenty oxen out of the pasture, and a hundred sheep, besides herds, roebucks, fallow deers, and fatted fowls. Fowl, excuse me. And he had dominion all over all the region on this side of the river, from Tif -sa, even to Az Azza, over all the kings on this side of the river and he had peace on all sides round about him and Judah and Israel dwelt safely every man under his vine and under his fig tree from Dan even to Beersheba all the days of Solomon okay fulfilling back what what we read in first first chronicles 22 get that again First Chronicles 22 and, and, and 9. It says, Behold, a son shall, shall be born to thee, who shall be a man of rest. And I will give him rest from all his enemies round about. For his name shall be Solomon, and I will give peace and quietness unto Israel in his days. And he shall build a house for my name, and he shall be my son and I will be his father, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom over Israel forever. Okay? So, according to Solomon's name, all right, and the promises that the Lord gave, that Solomon was going to be the son of God, okay, and that his kingdom was going to be a kingdom of peace, going back to his name. His name meant peace. Shalomah. Shalomah, which means peace or peaceable. All right. Okay. Which also goes in line with um, the prophecies that you read in Genesis 49. All right. Which this is referring to who you, who you really call Jesus Christ. Okay. When it refers to Shiloh. Okay. This is Genesis 49, verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Okay, the last days began when the Lord was on the scene. Okay. What's that? First Peter's 1 and 17. I think it's 17. Lot. 
Nah, it's um First Peter is one and nineteen. But with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. Okay? So when the Lord came on the scene, it was the last times. Or the la the beginning of the last days. So this is referring in these times, okay? All right. Genesis 49 and 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Gather yourselves together and hear ye sons of Jacob and hearken unto Israel your father. Genesis 49 and 8. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Why? Because we already proven that Judah, the chief ruler, was going to come through Judah. All right, the chief ruler is who you really call Jesus Christ, was sprung out of the tribe of Judah. Okay? Because he was of the loins of David, which David was of the tribe of Judah, which we already proved that. All right, Genesis 49 and 10. It says, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver between his feet until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. The gathering of the people is going to be unto who you really call Jesus Christ. So this is referring to him. Now the word Shiloh is Strong's Hebrew 7886. Shia, 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 which means tranquility. And tranquility means quality or state of being tranquil. Calmness, peaceableness, quiet, sereneness. And the only time we're going to experience that in these last days is when the Lord come back and establish the kingdom of heaven. Where the Israelites, just like they were under the time of Solomon, they had peace, they multiplied, they were in merry, they was in quietness, they weren't in wars or anything. We're going to experience that same thing under who you really call Jesus Christ, which is his name in the Hebrews, Yahweh Shah like we did on the Solomon. Okay, talking about you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descent who are the children of Israel. Okay, it says, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering, be, gathering of the people be. Okay, because we, we're coming back together under who you really call Jesus Christ. Okay. So let's go back to Second Samuel's Keep, let's keep proving this. 2 Samuel chapter 12, verse 24 and 25. Okay. It said, um, And David come for Bathsheba, his wife, and went out unto her, and lied with her, and she bore a son, and he called his name Solomon, which Solomon is Shalomah, which means peace of peaceable. All right. And the Lord loved him. All right. The Lord loved Solomon. All right. Verse 25, and he sent by the hand of Nathan the prophet, and he called his name Jedidiah because of the Lord. All right. Now, the word Jedidiah in the Strong's Hebrew is 3041, which is Yada Yadya, Yada Yadya, which means he beloved of Yahweh. Now, we already got the scripture in 1 Chronicles 22 and and 10 where the Lord, well 9 and 10 where the Lord said that he chose Solomon, alright, to be the next one to rule on the kingdom, on the throne of David over Israel and that he will be his father and he will be his son. Okay, now when you read the scriptures, who was the beloved, the beloved son of, of the Lord? Or who you really call Lord, which is Yahweh. Okay, which is what the word Jedidiah mean, which was applied to Solomon through Nathan, the prophet, which the Lord spake through Nathan. So that was the Lord calling, setting that mark or putting that name on Solomon to, to certify it to David that this was the one whom the Lord had chosen. This was his son.